day that I always look forward to. And first of all, I want to thank <clears throat> so many people who made this possible. Um, it may be Congressman David Scott's uh, arts competition scholarship, but that is just a small part of what it is. It is a team effort brought together by all of us, and most important, by Almighty God. Won't you stand for a moment? Let's open this up in prayer, if you don't mind. I, uh, we have so much to be thankful for. And uh, when you hear what I'm about to say, and all the people that made this possible, you'll understand why I very affectionately refer to this as truly God's work. So dear Heavenly Father, we just want to start off by thanking you for all your many blessings. We thank you for these wonderful students who have dared to look deep into their spirit, their soul, that gift, that light that you've given to each of us, that creative light that you have asked us not to hide it under a bushel, but to bring it out. Put that light on a candlestick. Take it up on the hill so the whole world can see these students' great work. We thank you for that. We thank you for those that are providing the scholarships, the Art Institute of Atlanta, and the Savannah, Sco Savannah College of Art and Design. They have given the money to help these young people further that light so it can truly shine for the world to see. We thank you for the families that give support, the mothers and the fathers, the sisters and the brothers, the aunts and the uncles, the grandmothers, who keep motivating these students to keep reaching higher. Uh, there's so much we thank you for, dear God. But these blessings we thank you for, in your son's name, Christ Jesus, amen. Thank you. First of all, I want to recognize uh, all the counties that are here, because this is important. We have schools from Clayton County, Cobb County, Fayette County, Fulton County, Henry County, Douglas County. I represent all these wonderful counties. Give them a hand, won't you? And I want to represent the schools. Alexander, Chapel Hill, Creekside, Douglas County, Dutchtown, Eagles Landing, Fayette County, Jonesboro, Landmark Christian School, Langston Hughes, Lovejoy, McCurchin, Mundy's Mill, New Manchester, Osborne, Riverdale, Stillwell School of Arts, Walton, Westlake, and Woodland. Isn't that something? Get the schools ahead, won't you? And I want to thank Douglas County Television 23. We're broadcasting live so all of Douglas County can see these young people's great works. Thank you. Let's give the television station a hand. Now, I want to just mention that in the years that we have done this, 16 years altogether, we have been fortunate enough to be able to award over $600,000 in scholarships and over 60 scholarships already, not counting what we're going to do today. Isn't that wonderful? Now, let me just say how this is going to be broken down. We're going to give for first place. Listen carefully. The first place winner will get $12,000 in scholarships, 
from the Art Institute of Atlanta. $3,000 per year scholarships to the Savannah College of Art and Design, which will be renewable for four years, four times uh, 3000 That comes to $12,000. Thank you. You also get two round-trip tickets by Southwest Airlines up to the National Ribbon Cutting Ceremony in my office in Washington, D.C., and the United States Congress. And the students' artwork will hang in the tunnel of Cannon House Office Building for one year. Now, that's not a light piece of recognition, because in that Cannon Hall, everybody passes, and everybody will see. So truly, you see what I said in our opening prayer. We're letting your light shine. So the whole world, the whole world comes through Canon, and the whole world will see your great work. And uh, you, in addition to that, first place, will get a personal individual scholarship of $1,000. Isn't that something on top of all of this? Let's give Art Institute in Savannah a college art design a hand, won't we? <laughs> Second place, $75,000 scholarship. I'm saying $7,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, and also a full scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design's one week summer uh, program, which is valued at $1,000 and your artwork will hang in our Washington, D.C. office for one year. Not nearly the number of people around the world that will come into the Cannon Building, but I assure you, we get a lot of people from around the world coming into our office, and more are coming every day as they see our great work as well. Third place. We'll get $3,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, then a partial scholarship to the College of Art and Design, and an individual scholarship of $400. And your artwork will hang in the Hartsville Atlanta International Airport for a year. And the whole world definitely comes to Hartsville International uh, airport. And um, for fifth place, uh, fourth place, sorry, artwork will hang in our Jonesboro office for one year, and you'll get two complimentary tickets to the Hyde Museum of Art. Fifth place, artwork will hang in our Smyrna office for one year, two complimentary tickets to the Hyde Museum of, of Art. I mean, that's a minute. Let's give all these companies, Art Institute, a big hand. I mean, we're looking at over $100,000 in here today, folks. Going somewhere, the best place it could go, to our future. This is our future. And we want to make sure we do everything to push you as absolutely as far as you and God will take you, all right? I want to thank, now some are on the way, some are here, but all of these I want to know, and my staff will let me know if I miss anybody. Uh, first, from Douglas County, the chairman of the board, Dr. Romana Jackson Jones, who is chairman of the board and Douglas County Board of Commissioners, Henry Mitchell, Kelly Robinson, Mike McClure, and Ann Jones Geidner. From the Douglas County Courthouse and Art Gallery, Miss Tiffany Stewart Danley is here. Cultural Arts and Council of Douglas County, Douglasville, Ms. Emily Leitner, who is the Arts Council Executive Director. Ms. Linda Britt, who is the Douglas County Art Guild President. Uh, and from the Art Institute of Atlanta, the very people who are bringing these scholarships, we have Ms. Greta Beller, 
who is the college representative, and from the Savannah College of Art and Design Scholarship Program, Ms. Casey Tanksley, who is the Enrollments Program Manager of Savannah College of Art and Design. And we have some corporations who have helped us. AT&T, Don Balfour, who is the Regional Director, the Georgia Power Companies contributed, David Campbell, High Museum of Art, Ms. Denisha Hall, Chick-fil-A, who's providing an excellent meal for all of us. I know we all love Chick-fil-A. It's waiting on us as soon as you finish the program. And Six Flags Over Georgia, who's providing free tickets for many of us. And so we want to thank them. And Okay. And we have the mayor, yes, Ms. Rochelle Robertson, who else is here? Ms. Uh, Douglas County School Board member, Ms. Michelle Simmons. And we also have the Douglas County Commissioner, Tarina Cartham. Anybody else we're missing here? And Pro Tem Siegel. Now, I want to get to them in just a moment. But if you all don't mind, I have the hardest working staff, the most wonderful staff. They're the ones. I'm in Washington hammering out whatever I can hammer out and help as we move forward. And you all know from the news, if there's anything that's going on in Washington, I can assure you the best way to describe it is it's a thrill a minute. And I think you watch that on C-SPAN or on the news. But it is my staff that is down here, and I want you to give me an opportunity to thank them. First, uh, Chandra, my district director, chief of staff here, and my press secretary, and my wonderful, wonderful partner. And she's been with me ever since she was a little girl. I say that because I've been there 16 years, right? So you can look and see she had to be a little girl when she started. <laughs> Isaac, in the back there, my deputy district director. Where's Dylan? My man, Dylan. I guess he's out there. Uh, Patrick, is Patrick husband here? There's Patrick, my man there. Teresa, she's out in the lobby. Angie, there's Angie. <laughs> Sheila, Sherry, wonderful. You see, she's got David Scott Blue on. You all know those are the color of my yarn signs there. <laughs> and to put the exclamation point on my thank yous, I must say, thank you, God Almighty, for pulling it all together. Now, what I want to do is have all my elected officials, all my scholarship, all of the people here, please come up and join me, won't you? Any of the corporate interests, I want you to see them. I want you to meet them. I want them to say hello, right quick, and uh, who and what, and please come on up. And uh, if you all don't mind, I, I, I hope what I want to do is to take a picture after you all have spoke. Tell them your role in this, please. Folks, understand, this is a team effort. This is a partnership that we do. And I appreciate you all letting me have the time up front to thank the people. These are the people who make it possible. Thank you, please. Thank you. Good morning, hopefully you can hear me. Um, my name is Greta Beller. I am from the Art Institutes of Atlanta. Um, I appreciate being here and being part of this. This is so exciting and I can tell you, I work with high school students every day and you inspire me every day. So thank you for being who you are and doing what you do. Um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Casey Tanksley. I'm with the Savannah College of Art and Design. I work as the Enrollment Programs Manager overseeing some of our summer programs for high school students. We most definitely hope to see some of you guys at SCAD this summer. In addition to um, our first place winner, hopefully we'll be seeing you fall of 2019. Thank you guys so much. 
Good morning, everyone. My name is Michelle Simmons. I'm the vice chair of the Douglas County School Board, and we have Douglas County students represented right. here today. So I'm just glad to be here to support. Thank you, Congressman Davis Scott, for the opportunity. Yes. Thank you so much. Good morning. It's good to see everyone. My name is Rochelle Robinson. I'm mayor of the city of Douglasville, and we welcome you to Douglasville, Douglas County. We're so very excited to see everyone here today, and we thank Congressman Scott for being such an advocate for everyone in the community, all that he serves doing veterans affairs and health fairs and just giving back. We would not have a lot of things that we have in our community had it not been for you, and we're so very excited to have that Highway 92 relocation, and Congressman Scott is on the vanguard. He's the champion who had that project happen in our community that's going to make us more connectivity and um, alleviate traffic in the community. So we appreciate you, Congressman Scott, and we're so happy for these talented young people that are here today in Douglasville, and welcome to Douglasville, Douglas County. Thank you, Madam Mayor. Richard Siegel, Mayor Pro Tem of the city of Douglasville. Last year I had the opportunity to go to Washington and I visited Congressman Scott's yeah. office. And I did see the artwork there and in the yes. Cannon Tunnel, absolutely, <laughs> so what he says is true. And Indeed. I haven't seen the get at the airport. I try not to fly that often. <laughs> when I flew up to Washington, I did not look for the artwork, but I'm not sure it's there. Uh, and I haven't been to either of your uh, field offices either. I'm going to have yes, to do that one of these. Please do. So um, the area I represent is down by New Manchester High School, and I'm happy to see New Manchester, the biggest representative here of all the high schools. So way to go. Thank you so much, and uh, greetings from, uh, my name is Don Barber, I'm with the Regional Director of External Affairs for at t Georgia, and uh, we've been a corporate partner yes. uh, for the Arts Competition Scholarships for a number of years, yeah. uh, I don't hey. know exactly how many years, but... Uh, well, I uh, think you've been there when, since we started. Maybe since the beginning, so yeah. and, uh, just want to congratulate all the students and uh, look forward to, to announcing the winners. Thank, Thank you. you. We got to get in camera area. Uh, again, real quickly, my name is Kelly Robinson. I'm the vice chairman of the board of commissioners, and on behalf of Dr. Ramona Jackson Jones, who's not here, we bring you greetings. Uh, we thank you so much for being here. But it's less about us, and I think it's always important to acknowledge um, what your congressman does for us. Um, yes, trillion dollar budget up in Washington, but how you measure an elected officials about what they bring home, what they do for the citizens. And pound for pound, any congressman, I will hold ours against in the state. I mean, he consistently, when health fair, not just one health fair, every year. Every year. Every year. A job fair. Every year. Every year. Every year. And of course, this competition, not five times, ten times. I mean, he's in the, you know, teen numbers. The, the digits are significant. And it's, you look at the breadcrumbs he lays. And what he's bringing back to you, he's bringing money, he's bringing resources to the students when he, you know, he obviously was in a place where you are. He's very creative. Went to Florida A.M., got a degree, got a master's degree from Wharton, one of the best, no, the best business school in the nation, <laughs> it is, from business. Um, and he started his own um, um, advertising firm, which is important for you guys to recognize. Like, no, he walked in those steps. And he brings back home resources for historically black colleges and things like this. And so for that, Thanks. I just had to acknowledge it, sir. I mean, it's always <laughs> deference to be amongst a, a, a congressman. So with that, thank you, sir. Well, Commissioner, you know, I, yes. I just got to say that I need you around with me everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> and I wish my mama was here to yes, say, hear you say all that. Thank yes, you sir. so much. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate yes, that yes, so much. Right? Okay. Thank you. So on behalf of the Board of Commissioners, oh. we have a significant thing that we want to do for you. Oh, we okay. thank you well, for what thanks. you're doing. We thank you for the opportunity for these students to come here and be recognized. Whoever the judges are, y'all have a hard decision because we've seen the artwork and it yeah. is absolutely amazing. So thank you to the students. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Wow. Wow. And from Commissioner Mitchell, District 1 Commissioner all the things that Kelly and everybody else has said about you. We want to just say thank you on behalf of the Board of Commissioners. And yes, you're in the year 17, if I'm not mistaken, and, and like Terenia stated, you guys are going to have a tough job because we've seen all the artwork upstairs. But I want to also add, though, 
as Mayor Robinson said earlier, you, you know how to bring those dollars and cents back to Douglas County, right. and you've brought millions. Yeah. And we want to thank you on behalf of what you do up in, at, the, at, at the Congress level on bringing those dollars back to our county, because we spend those dollars, and we send them to Washington, and we expect that of our Congress. And we want to say thank you for those things that you do and bringing that. I mean, the Highway 92 bypass is just a small breadcrumb that you've done of the many tasks that we sent you to Washington to do. And we just want to say thank you on behalf well, of, of that. You. And I'm not going to read the proclamation that we've got here for you, but it talks about all the things that you've done, all the well, things that we've said, from you going into Congress in early 2000, and you've been there ever since. You've done an excellent job. And on behalf of the Board of Commissioners and Dr. Ramona Jackson-Jones, we want to say thank you at this date, pre presenting to you this proclamation of thanks on behalf of all of us. Again, if you guys would give them a standing ovation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Isn't thank you. This is nice. Yes, yes, sir. This is so lovely. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Yes, yes. Thank you, sir. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you all so very much. Thank Declan's County yes, for this. Sir. Yes, sir. But I must say that this is, and much of what you said, is not just a testimony to me, but a testimony to my great staff. Yes. They're the ones that do the work and pull everything together. And you talk about all that money. I got a guy on my staff I call the money man. He's not here. But Dylan Nurse, right? I mean, Dylan is the guy that has pulled so many of the grants. And you come into the office. And you identify and you ask and you work for it. So it's a team effort. Yes, sir. God bless you. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you all you. so Thank very you. much. Thank you very much. And Let's we want to, yeah, we want a photo. Okay. Okay. And then we want a photo with the whole team. You got it. Okay. And if everybody could gather around yes. here, okay. come on in, gang. Let's come quickly. Come quick. We got to move. Because I want to stand. It's very important that we stand in front of the flag. Yes. yes. Uh, because <laughs> that's what we're all here for, to keep our country strong. We got everybody? All the yes. ladies? Everybody can be seen? Every face? Good. That's it? Thank you. Thank you all. Let's give everybody a hand. Thank you. Now, one other thing I want to do, because I want to make sure that we get a chance to be able. The Douglas County Television that is broadcasting this live gives us an hour. And we got 35 more minutes of time. The program will go to 12 because we have so much to show. So if you all don't mind, I want to make sure that every one of these students, that all of Douglas County will be able to see them. So what I'd like for you all to do is to, if you don't mind, uh, just come around, those of you who are, have artwork, if you could quickly just come around, I think, and Isaac and Patrick, can you help guide them back to their place one row at a time? I'd like to make sure that you have an opportunity to say hello to the fine people of Douglas County who are watching this on television. And tell them who you are, what school you represent, right quickly, and then you go back and Patrick and Isaac will help guide you, and row by row, um, and that way. So um, may I ask, I think the best way of doing this is if, uh, who started down on that end? No, I mean, who was sitting there? You, OK, good. That's the way to do it. Come right on up, and I think we're in a good spot here for the TV cameras. Am I right, cameraman? I want to make, we're good? Yep. Oh, there he is. He said yes. Come right up and tell, 
Okay, Michael, take that microphone. Uh, and Patrick, everyone, uh, why don't, hmm? Okay, and why don't we, um, yeah, we're not gonna do the full thing now, are we? Oh, we are? Oh, okay, good. Okay, good. And they're just gonna take a picture and say there. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Let me get out the way. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, so they're all going to say their names. Good. So, hello, um, I'm Michael Adaba from Monte. Okay, wait. I'm not sure the TV people heard you. And one of the things is speak loud, project it, let them know who you are, because we want the whole world to know. And Douglas County will have this in its archives forever. <laughs> All right? Say who you are, your name, and school. Hello, um, I'm Michael Adaba from Atta Ellen Stowell School of the Arts. Great. Right. Thank you. Um, hello, my name is Adebla Adewale. I'm representing Douglas County High School. Okay, good. Thank you. Here. Hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. Speak, speak a little. Um, hi, my name is Alexa Vallejo, representing New Manchester High School. All right, good. <laughs> you're getting the flag? Sharon, are you getting the flag? <laughs> Thank you. Hello, my name is Mikhail Allison. Oh. Hello, my name is Mikhail Allison, representing Martha Ellen Stewell School of the Arts. Hello, my name is Deja Portis, representing Woodland High School. Hello, I'm your lady Arroyo, and I'm representing McEachern High okay. School. I think you're going to talk just a little louder. <laughs> okay, louder. Hello, I am your lady Arroyo, and I'm representing McEachern High School. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my name is Akira Bass, and I'm from McEachern High School. Oh, McEachern, too. Hi, I'm Mahogany Bracey, and I'm representing McEachern High School. Okay. Okay. Hi, my name is Roxy Bridges, and I'm representing New Manchester High School. Great. Right. Hi, I'm Kaya Brown, and I'm representing DCHS. Uh, tell them what DG is. <laughs> <laughs> Douglas County High School. There we go. I'm Abigail Charles, and I'm representing Westlake High School. Oh, that's good. Hello, I'm Jennifer Diaz, and I'm representing Osborne High School. Oh, picture, yeah. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Kyla Dixon. I'm representing Martha Ellen Sewell School of the Arts. Did you get the picture, Chandra? <laughs> hi, 
Hello, I'm Omari Franks and I'm representing Woodland High School. Hi, I'm Morgan Epps and I'm representing Woodland High School. Uh, hi, my name is Devontae Few, and I'm from Lincoln Hughes High School. Langston Hughes. <laughs> Langston Hughes was such a great, he was America's poet laureate. Uh, hi, I'm Michelle Hernandez. I'm from Langston Hughes High School. Yeah, I know. Wonderful. I did a PBS film on Langston Hughes, great poetry, set it to dance and music. My name is Quinn Holner and I'm representing McEachern High School. Hello, my name is Jordan and I'm representing Riverdale High School. Riverdale. <laughs> Hello, my name is Aska Jones. I'm here representing Dutchtown High School. Great. Okay. I turned my head. I'm sorry. I'm just sorry. It's my fault. I turned my head. Hello, my name is Sviet Lana Repic. I represent Robert L. Ho Osborne High School. Osborne. <laughs> Hi, my name is Daniel Reyes, and I'm representing Riverdale High School. Right. My name is Imani Santoni from Chapel Hill High School. I'm Nadia Rubalcava de Leon from Welton High School. Hi, I'm Joaquin Prosper Jones from Lincoln Hughes High School. Oh, great. Hi, I'm, I'm Anthony Portillo um, representing New Manchester High School. We may need to say that a little louder, uh, all right? Okay. Loud. I'm Anthony Portillo, and I'm representing New Manchester High School. Hello, I'm Sharon Olubadjo, representing McEachern High School. My name is Jocelyn Matsuzuma, and I'll be representing Mundy Smith High School. Mundy Smith. Mundy Smith is where we have our health fair every year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hello, my name is Nicole Mitchell. I'm representing Landmark Christian School. Sales. I'm representing Creekside High School. Hello, my name is Danielle C, and I'm representing New Manchester High School. Hi, my name is Deja Suggs, and I'm representing Osborne High School. Good 
My name is Michael Tapler, and I'm here to represent New Manchester High School. New Manchester High School. Your certificate. Your certificate. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> like that. There we go. There we go. I'll, I'll put that right there. Here you go, in case you need it. Hello, my name is Milton Troy, and I'm representing Lakes and Hughes High School. My name is Ashley Trujillo, and I represent Chapel High School. My name is Kira Wheeler, and I'm representing Langston Hughes High School. Okay. My name is Haley Wilson, and I'm representing New Manchester High School. My name is Dave. <laughs> David Tinger. And I go to Langston Hughes High School. We may need to get that a little louder. My name is David Tinger, and I go to Langston Hughes High School. Great. Come on. No. Come on. Now, once you get closer to the flag. <laughs> My name is Anthony Stewart, and I am attending Lovejoy High School. Just a little louder. <laughs> My name is Anthony Stewart, and I go to Lovejoy High School. Right. Um, <laughs> Great. Let's give these students a one. Let's give them a standing ovation, won't you? I mean, let's do that for them. I've always said one of the reasons I work so hard for getting scholarships for our students who use their brains, their talent, their motivation, that inward, we give so many athletic scholarships, but everybody can't run that football or catch it. They, 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 they can't hit the baseball or shoot that basketball. So. They have talents, and we want to make sure that we can award them for all of God's gifts. So thank you all. Wonderful. We made it with 15 minutes to spare. We'll get a few more things, because I think the wonderful people of Douglas County who are watching this on television really appreciate seeing the students. That's what we're here for. Now, I think I turn it have I done my? Done I turn job. it to you. Yes. <laughs> yes, let's give Angie a hand, won't you? <laughs> Angie is the person we've assigned that really coordinates for the whole team this project. Doesn't she do a wonderful job? Thank you. And her assistant <laughs> here, Sherry. These two ladies have done an excellent job. And now, as Frank Sinatra would say, Excuse me while I disappear. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first I want to start by saying that I think all of you are winners. You all submitted wonderful, wonderful artwork, and our judges were very impressed and pleased with the artwork that was submitted. Um, we're going to start by mentioning some of our honorable mentions. And the, one of the first honorable mentions were, is... Give me something. Mr. Dante Few from Langston Hughes High School. Ms. Roxy Bridges from New Manchester High School. Oh. Wonderful. Ashika Jones from Dutchtown High School. Yeah. Mahogany Bracey from McEachern High School. Oh. 
And these are, these are the honorable mentions in this year's art competition. Honorable mentions. Good. Do we take a photo with the honorable mentions? Oh, okay. Okay, in fifth place, the fifth place winner will win two complimentary tickets to the Hobby Museum of Art, and your artwork will be displayed in Congressman Scott Smyrna's office for one year. Our fifth place winner is from Akitra High School. Please forgive me if I mix your name up. You, 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 Lady Ario. Cheers, cheers. Yeah, I meant to mention those who may want a photo, please feel free. And uh, we have a wonderful owl there and uh, family members of those. This is a great moment to celebrate, so take a picture. <laughs> Okay, our fourth place winner will win two complimentary tickets to the High Museum of Art, two complimentary tickets to Sixth Class over Georgia, and your artwork will be displayed in Congressman Scott's Jonesboro office for one year. Our fourth place winner is Michael Adaba from Martha Stillwood School of Arts. Our third place winner will win a $3,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, a $4,000 scholarship to the 400, I'm sorry, $400 scholarship to the School of Students' Choice, a $650 partial scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design's summer seminar program. Your artwork will be displayed in Hartsfield Jackson's International Airport for one year. Our third place winner is Mr. David Tinka from Langston Hughes High School. Whoa. Congratulations, buddy. Okay, our second place winner won a $7,500 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, a $600 scholarship to the, student, the College of the Student's Choice, and a $1,000 scholarship to the SCAD Rising Star Program of Summer Seminar Program, and your artwork will be displayed in Congressman David Scott's Washington, D.C. office for, a year, for one year. Our second place winner is Ms. Kaya Dixon from Martha Stillwell School of Arts. Ooh. Congratulations. Okay, in first place, our first place winner will win a $12,000 scholarship to the Art Institute of Atlanta, a $3,000 scholarship to the Savannah College of Art and Design renewable for four years, a $1,000 scholarship to the College of the Students' Choice, two complimentary tickets to High Museum of Art, an invitation to the ribbon cutting ceremony in Washington, D.C., where your artwork will be displayed in the halls of Congress for one year. Our first place winner is from Douglas County High School, Ms. Adubla Adewale. <laughs> Isn't 
that. Wonderful. Now, we would love for the schools to come up and to make the presentation appropriately. And we'll take a photo with that. Um, and uh, if you could come over, yeah, let's, I guess, where do, how do we start it? From there and work our way up? No, come on over. You all come over. And, and what we're going to do is sort of individualize it. Um, David. Make sure you get the right check <laughs> for the right person. All right. Now, we, we want to take the individuals now. Artists is two, right? Yep. And you have several, I think. Yeah, I have three different checks. Okay, let's do the first. Is this first grade? Yes, this is great. All right, let's come a little closer. We got to keep the, we got to, we got to remember our flag. I always like to have that with us. You got it? Uh, may I ask which one first? Can we? Okay. Now, may I ask if there's a family member with her who would like to come up and be? Please. I know you're proud. And I know you want your family here with you, don't you? Huh? They have made this moment possible, didn't they? I know they did. Hi. And this is the mother? No. Mother and the brother. brother? Your father? Okay, wonderful. Uh, do we have someone taking y'all's picture? Or do you have, could you take that, uh, Chuck? Yes. I, I want you right here. You want me right there? I want you right oh, next right to the oh, winner, okay. if you don't mind. Uh, Father, I know you want the money person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? Okay. Which one first? Good. We got everything? Wonderful. Thank you. Let's give our first place. Okay. Oh, did we do ours already? We did? Oh, she got one. go a long way you already have <laughs> and let me just tell you you take God with you there's no telling how far you will go remember that thank you second yes you may sit down <laughs> Yeah, we have fa any family that might want to join? Ah, oh, great. Come on up. How are you? Good. Your father? Yes. You're the father? Wonderful. Brother? Mother? Ah, <laughs> oh, great. Mom? 
Can you get right next to it, stand right in there? Good. Which one? Wonderful. Thank you so much. Is that great girl? Thank you. All right. Oh, one more? <laughs> Chandra, you got yours? Yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Let's give our second place. <laughs> Oh, family, come on. That's family, pretty. We want you in this picture, Father. Good. That's a father's gift. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. That's it. That's it. Wonderful. And we made it. Ah, thank you all. Thank you all so much. And um, now I think, uh, let's see, what is the next? Okay, very good. Um, I want to really once again thank all of you. And I want to thank our television station, uh, Douglas County Television. I think it's channel 23, is that right? Yes. Uh, wonderful. And, and look, praise the Lord, we made it all in time. It was so important that we're able to show this within the hour because we want other people to see this as well. And I want to thank everyone for it. And uh, I, again, want to thank our elected officials. Thank you all. Keep up the fight here. Y'all are doing a wonderful job here in Douglas County. Douglas County is growing by leaps and bounds. And uh, the reason for that is this county has extraordinary leadership. And I can tell you that um, all of the things that we've been able to do is because we have Douglas County and Douglasville and Lithia Springs officials who are so talented and skilled and are dedicated to constantly improving the quality of life in this wonderful county. And uh, let's give our elected leaders another hand, won't you? Thank you all very much. And thank you for that wonderful plaque we're going to look at that and keep it. And uh, uh, Commissioner Robinson, look, I'm serious about that. I may have to take you around with me. <laughs> Wasn't that some kind of introduction that he gave me? I really appreciate that. And hey, it's on uh, Douglas CV too, so <laughs> maybe I'll be able to see this and uh, get a tape of it, and uh, we'll be able to watch it. And I hope that maybe they may be able to provide a cassette or two to the schools so that we can build on this. And 
again, we want to thank the Art Institute and SCAD for the wonderful work that you do. I mean, just think today, you all saw the checks. They were very big. They had big numbers on them. Let me tell you, we've come a mighty long way because when we started out, I think we just had two places, I believe. Am I right, Sean? Was it two, two or three? And look, now it's five. And the money has grown. And it's because of the talent that this community and the folks in my six counties have and are producing and year after year. And it's so wonderful that this continues to grow. And uh, we work on it year round um, as we do many of our other projects. And our dedication is to continue to grow and make it bigger and better every year. Again, I want to say thank you. I got one minute, and I just want to conclude with this. There's another reason why I uh, am so thrilled and motivated to do this. When I was, I think, eight years old, I believe it was, in 1956, I think, somewhere about then, then they had this magnificent motion picture. I think it was the absolute greatest and best produced motion picture ever. And it's called The Ten Commandments by Cecil B. DeMills. And if you haven't seen that picture, by the way, uh, the Lord has instructed me to tell you, it'll be on tonight at 7 o'clock on WSB television. Now, why do I say that? Every scene, every picture is just a work of art, not just, just the amazing uh, dividing of the Red Sea, the holy mountain, the burning bush, and all in between, and the performances by Charleston Heston as Moses was just terrific. And Yul Brenner as Ramesses II. Hey, you got to see it. It's on tonight. Anyway, when I was a kid and I saw that, and they had this book with all those scenes in it, that a souvenir book that you had to buy going out. And my father, who was a minister, brought that to me. He took me to that movie on Broadway in New York when it opened at the Crittin Theater. And it just impressed me and opened my eyes. And I began painting. And it allowed me to really go deep into myself and bring out those gifts of talent and creativity that you saw in these young people's work. And that's why I do this. And that's why I do not pretend when I say we're doing God's work. He planted that seed in me way back then. And when you see that movie tonight, you're going to say, hey, I see what David Scott was talking about. And with that, I will truly, as Frank Sinatra say, quietly disappear. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>